everybody welcome to my channel Gigi Graziano here what is up what is going on for this video today I'm here to bring you a v-day date night makeup tutorial something very light pink sweet innocent so if you want to watch how I did this look right here with my Jeffree Star mirror continue watching it has been a hot minute everyone so for this v-day a date night look I think I'm just gonna be doing a kind of neutral a pink eye look so let's just dive right into it so for starters I think I'm gonna use the James Charo palette it's the mini one um you know sister James does a nice job on his palettes I can't even front so I personally like to start with some bronzer this time I'm using Hulu Hula my bad not Hulu like the TV show the streaming system I'm gonna take my Morphe M574 brush and just go on my crease because I gotta make some definition first. For Christmas, I got myself a, oh, I didn't get myself, I got it as a gift, Jeffree Star Mirror. So I'm just gonna use this, go into my crease, darken it up for starters. Oh my God, this, this brush is really shedding, that's weird. Going again, do the other eye, crease that baby up. Um, I, Desi Perkins actually taught me that when you do bronzer it actually connects with the rest of your face so that's always usually my base that's what I start with now because I'm not really a loud girl when it comes to doing my makeup and then I'm going to get my concealer in one two aka dupe shape tape L'Oreal okay so here's what I do take a little bit and I go on my eyelid and I look up so when you do this little trick, it actually makes the connection on your eye. And then take your brush and you go along where your eye goes up. And it doesn't really have to be perfect. Never has to be perfect, but then just, you know, bring it out like so. Do the same for the other eye. So now we got the concealer packed on. I put some tape on so I don't mess up. Any tape, I get mine from the Dallas store. Do a quick tape moment on my eyes. Cause who cares? Just kidding, I care, that's why I put tape on. Oh, I got a little, uh, okay, now, let's get started. I'm gonna take another Morphe brush, this is my Morphe M431. I'm gonna dive right into the James Charles palette over here. I think I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna start with this nice little shade right there. I don't know the name of it cause I can't feel like putting it on, <laughs> whatever. I'm just gonna pack this onto the front of the eye. Nice little pack, nice little pack. Okay, now we're gonna hit fun and we're gonna go in with the pink that I'm gonna be using. I got baby brushes and they're really pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Um, and the rose gold, really cute. Nice, right? And now I'm gonna go in with this deeper color right here. This is like a, kind of a plumish. Go into the plum. Wow, pigmentation, really vibrant. I'm gonna bring this to the end of my eye. And this is just to really get some color in here. I'm not gonna leave it like really vibrant because, I don't know, I might leave it vibrant. Whenever I do my makeup, I always have an idea of what I want it to look like, but you know, you don't have to stick to the original plan. That's the good part about it. It's really pretty, huh? Now we're gonna do the same thing to the other eye. I like to do my eyes, you know, I like to do the same thing. So it keeps it nice and balanced. Huh? Really bright, fun. Then I'm gonna take this BB brush again. This one is kind of like a flat, flat brush, okay? We're gonna go in with this color right here. I'm gonna bring that to the, the beginning of the eye. Really nice. Kind of like a, a deep salmon. 
That's beautiful. I haven't really had a lot of time to play with this palette, so this is like really my first official time. Okay, you see the eyes? Before they're blended, then I'm gonna be taking a, another BB brush. This one's really nice too. I'm gonna blend the two together. Also, in the James Charles palette, look at this, look at this mirror, check that out. There's my camera. But, really good quality. The Jeffree Star mirror is really cool too, it's really nice. So as you can see, I'm blending, blending, blending. So I'm gonna take a little bit more concealer. I'm gonna bring it into the middle of my eye. I'm gonna go in with one of these colors over here. We're gonna be going with Faint, Sissy, and Little Lady. Little Lady. Oh, it's sad. I feel bad that Jacqueline has such like, like her drops of her lines are just, they never really turn out good and I feel bad because she is really talented and I wish that her factories like would stop doing her dirty. You know? It's looking pretty. Very pretty. And now I have to put concealer on the other eye. Sometimes it's hard to do this tutor like tutorials for me when I do my makeup because I'm so focused that sometimes I can't even talk. And I think that you should do your makeup the way that it looks best on you. I mean, you could definitely learn a couple things from everybody, but only you can really figure out what looks the best on your face. And I think that's really important. That's what I'm learning. And I feel like my hand is not, I don't have a light hand. A lot of people say like, oh, you gotta go on light. Okay. And then we're gonna go back in with this brush and blend. And blend and blend. So now it's more of a sheer pink. And the colors are diluted a little bit. Really nice. So I personally, instead of like going to the top with just the same color, I like to do, take another fluffy blending brush and I like to go in with a lighter tan like there's this nice champagne color from Jacqueline I'm just gonna go on the top so it kind of like highlight dry same thing the other side put this in and then I'm gonna blend with the pink again so it's not as strong at the top Very nice, okay. And now, I'm not the biggest eyeliner person, so I'm not gonna do eyeliner. This is gonna be more of a natural look where you don't have to wear fake lashes. I don't wear fake lashes all the time, so I'm not gonna put them on. So, take this tape off. Flawless, okay. I really like it, huh? V-Day. I get some mascara I've been using bad gal bang by benefit and it really just like makes my eyelashes feel like they're uh, bulletproof so I just go in voila Nice and easy, right? You guys can follow that. That was easy enough. And you know, you could just, it's basically three pinks, a shimmer, and also a bronze, that's it. So for my face, like I said, I am not a big fan of liquid foundation. Liquid foundation. Liquid foundation makes my skin look the absolute worst. So I use Maybelline Fit Me powder, and I use this Kiko brush. It's called Face 107, and I really just swish it in like so. And 
blush. I do a layer on top, and I already moisturized before this, so. I already moisturized before this, so I put this on my skin. Like so, spread it out. You guys are probably like, oh my god, this girl does not know what she's talking about. And I do, but like I said before, this is what works for my face. So I go like this, and then are the bags real? Check if the bags are real today. So you check the bags, see if you have bags under your eyes. You're like, mm, not bad, right? Just have a little touch of redness. So I just get a little there. And that's about it for my face. I think my red, my, the side of my nose always gets red. Do a little tap. Conceal it in. Perfect. And then I take the Hula Bronzer once again. I'm gonna go in with, I actually love this brush that came with it, right? Do a little dusting. Nice, okay. The neck. My new thing is this milk contour. Just a moment, through the nose a little bit, just the bottom. Take my beauty blender, of course. A little dirty, can't lie. I'm just gonna. I want a really rosy moment, so I'm gonna go in with my Kylie bronzer. Take this brush. This color is so beautiful. It's called Kitten Baby. Sorry for that, I got a quick call. So I just did this, I just did my little blush with the highlighter, and I'm gonna go in with my Milk Cosmetics highlighter. And this color is just the Illuminator, so I'm just gonna highlight the high points of my cheek. Now, this is the, really the first time I've used milk products and I think they're nice and I would definitely get some more. So. It's really a cream, so um, I believe creams be blend the best with my finger. So we're gonna go in like this, do a little bit of this. Nice, right? Hits the light nice. Okay, and now for our last step, I'm going to be putting some lipstick on. I'm gonna be using, this is one of my favorite lip liners. It's by NYX, and it's called Nude Beige. I always start at the bottom. I do a nice outline of my lips. The bottom I always go a little bit below. Twine it up. See, it's just like a little bit, a shade darker than my actual lip color. Close it up. And then these are my absolute favorite. They're the ColourPop lip tints. It's called Just a Tint. This is in color Gimme S'mores. So we're start off with this. Oh, how pretty is that? Okay. Has a nice sheen to it, right? Then I have my Buxom lip gloss in the shade Clear, and I'm just gonna go over the lipstick a little bit. That is perfect, okay. And obviously, you know the deal. I have to set it with my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. Take my mirror. Air dry it, and boom. This is the final look. I think it's really pretty. I think it's really pretty. It's really fun and fresh, just nice and easy to do. Would well, that take me five, 10 minutes, right? And I'm ready for Valentine's Day. So if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up if you wanna see more laid back makeup tutorials. Subscribe if you wanna see more of this face. Also subscribe. Thank you guys for watching so much. Ciao.